Now, uh, <laughs> good morning. Uh, good morning to everybody. Uh, the Tim Randall from Lynx Magazines, um, uh, broadcasting once again from my kitchen table. Uh, it's a sunny day outside, and I'm with Debs. Hello, Debs. Debs Francis, isn't it? It is. Hello, Tim. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Deb is from Image Tattoo and Coffee Lounge, which is based in the Victorian Arcade in the centre of Oakhampton. That's right, isn't it? That is correct. I hope so. I hope it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Lockdown blues, lockdown blues. So, uh, you, we, we, we were just discussing just before we went live that yours is an interesting interesting industry sector isn't it really because it's tattoos and it's coffee so it's food and beverage which we know is difficult for people to grasp that and obviously tattoos is, is about touching people's bodies and very close proximity for quite a long period of time so um before we get into all the nitty-gritty Debs, just tell us what your business is and tell us what you're able to offer people right now right at the moment Okay, so um, we are, like we already said, we're a tattoo um, studio as well as a coffee lounge. Um, it's run by me and my sister. Um, so we own and run the cafe between us and um, we take care of all the coffee shop side. We also then have the tattoo studio and a piercer um, who we let rent the space above us. So um, kind of letting them use the space um, through us. It happens to be my brother-in-law as well, my sister's husband. So it's a nice family run business. Um, and Dane is really good on the coffee machine and loves coffee art and all that fancy stuff, which me and Lee can't do. We just dump it in, give a nice cup of coffee. Um, he does all the fancy stuff. So he's usually around as well. So when we are back open, even if the tattoo side um, isn't quite quite there yet um isn't allowed back then i'm sure people can see him um, serving a nice uh heart or fern leaf on their lattes um we've been open for about a year um it was kind of like a spontaneous thing that we just decided we wanted to do uh, most of our friends and family know that my sister and i are very spontaneous we'll just come up with an idea and roll with it see what happens um and i think our customers will uh, agree that we're kind of just we're just out here playing really we sometimes forget that we're running a business and we're just <laughs> playing kitchen like when we were kids um but yeah so that's us we're quite relaxed and um, we're really lucky to have such lovely customers who have been keeping in touch with us as well during the lockdown which has been lovely so through um instagram and facebook like sending messages like when are you going to be open i need a coffee um so that's been really really nice um obviously like i say we've been closed during lockdown um it was kind of sad timing for us because the lockdown was announced just before our year anniversary so we had some really fun plans and um things like that but which couldn't go ahead so we had to kind of just celebrate um internally um so during lockdown what have we been offering um obviously we haven't been doing takeaway it was kind of a decision that lee and i made together we felt it was the right thing to do um given the the timing and how serious it was at the time sort of out of respect to the situation we thought you know what we'll let things calm down people's priority isn't going to be coming to grab a coffee if they were only allowed out for an hour a day um so we've been trying to sort of do other things with our time we've been working really closely with one of our um suppliers so um tall river dairy who supply oh. our lovely gold top milk um we've been making continuing to um, make batches of brownies to sell through their delivery service um so that people can still get those because a lot of people like our brownies which we make ourselves um so we've been teaming up with those guys who have been fab um and they're super busy which is great nice. um so we have been kind of trying to um stay oh. sort of in the game all right, but now going forward, of course, we, we, we've heard some announcements now that businesses are starting to open today. Estate agents are starting to open in the town um, uh, and uh, lots of other businesses are trying to go back to work. So now going forward, um, I think you are going to start offering a takeaway service for the coffee and the brownies and the et cetera, aren't you? Yeah, we are. So we're planning from actually next Friday, which I think if I remember correctly, is the 22nd. Um, so we're going to do reduced hours from next Friday and Saturday. So each week, Friday and Saturday, 10 till 2. Um, we'll be there selling all drinks. So coffees, teas, milkshakes, soft drinks, um, and then just a limited sort of baked goods offer. Obviously, mainly make everything ourselves on site. Um, so we're just going to be doing this kind of standard brownies, cookies, uh, maybe a couple of pastries here and there um so quite a limited menu but we'll be open for those few hours um on a friday and saturday 
So that's from next Friday. That's, that's from next Friday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, and there goes my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's outside. Pepper, come here. Sorry about this. Um, the number of times that's happened during these live videos, is, I, I can't tell you. Come here. You. Um, so, so that's from next Friday. Um, mm -hmm. uh, 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 now, um, let's talk about the tattoo side of it because that's um that's particularly um difficult isn't it because that's about touching people's body and spending a lot of time in, with somebody um there, there doesn't seem to be a time uh, looking ahead where one, one can see that that's going to be acceptable again is that right or do you think that august might be the key time that will come back yeah there was a time where sort of tattooing wasn't explicitly kind of listed in any of the categories so it was a bit on um we're kind of unsure when that's going to be allowed um i think dane has said that it is now listed in a category and it is one of the last ones to kind of get back um to normal whatever that might be and um, so yeah it's looking um i think around sort of august time um potentially it might be later um we find it quite funny obviously uh, um tattooing there is contact um but obviously it, even in general when we're trading under as a tattoo studio it has to be such a high standard of clean um, and, and hygiene regulations anyway. It's actually hospital standards. Um, it's sterile, it's clean, gloves are always used. Um, obviously, needles are regularly changed. You're not using any, you know, everything it has to be perfect. Um, to, to fit most people nowadays, they're booking quite long sessions. Um, so you might have someone booking in for a sleeve that takes a long time time they'll book for a whole day so in the tattoo studio in the in the room in, in Oakhampton um there might literally just be one tattooist and one client so again there's there's not it's not a um a lot of people in and out not a lot not a footfall um and it is one of the really sort of clean safe probably one of the safest places to be wow okay well let's hope let's hope that that comes back sooner rather than later um yeah. But difficult for a lot of industries. I mean, obviously, tattooing anyone that is touching your know, body, massage or chiropractors or um, alternative health, and, uh, it's difficult, isn't it? But anyway, so that aside, but anyway, on the positive side, from next Friday, I can come and get a cup of coffee from you, I can get a brownie, etc. You, uh, you might get a smile if you're lucky as well. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you. you, you you're in the Victorian Arcade, so there's no problems with people queuing outside or, you know, doing that safe distance kind of queuing well after that needs to be done. Yeah, exactly. We're going to put, um, just um, out of respect, I guess, just going to put up some signs just to say, obviously, respect the guidance um, that's been issued. But realistically, we can't enforce what people do out in the public space. Um, so I'm sure everyone's going to be aware of the situation. I don't think anyone uh, take me the distance but we'll see how it goes all right well we we just lost you just slightly then the the, the reception went just slightly but we, I think we got the message. um so is there anything else we need to be telling people who are looking at this now um so just i guess some some more things that we we've been trying to do I guess as tips for maybe other small businesses that are trying to stay relevant online now because we're not there in person um me and lee are quite hot on the social media um, especially instagram and facebook we have been running lots of competitions um and also things like just keeping customers and, and anyone that's on our social pages interactive rather than just putting posts out there we've been doing things like polls or quizzes or should we shouldn't we do this and um, kind of letting our customers have a bit of input as to what we're doing at the minute because mm -hmm. actually this has been a really good time thinking about the positives it's been a really good time for us to be sort of experimenting behind the scenes with other things so other recipes um, other drinks we could be doing things like that so um, we've tried to keep our sort of customers involved the ones that aren't our regulars and loyal and are on our social pages um, so yeah just just try to keep it interactive really um as much mm. as we can and kind of keep them excited for us to be open again kind of have something to look forward to yeah um, which is quite nice we yeah. re we really do just a quick shout out if any of our customers are listening we really do miss you <laughs> <laughs> and also obviously all the people that you meet just generally like the arcade is such a nice spot to be in that even you know we, we're missing meeting the new people as well that come in and 
getting to hear about their stories, what they've been up to. We're, we're just in the perfect location in that arcade, especially with Dartmoor around us. We're yeah. just, we're really lucky. We missed it. <laughs> we, 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 are, we have been incredibly lucky down here, both with the number of cases we've had of COVID-19, but also, you know, the fact that to go out for a walk or to go out for a run or mm. get some exercise, actually, you know, being on, you know, the, the, the footsteps of uh, the foothills of, of Dartmoor has been fantastic, really. We are. Yeah, we've been very naughty. We've lived here for seven years now and we haven't explored Dartmoor as half as much as we should have. <laughs> so this has been another good time, another good positive is we've actually managed to get out and explore, which is and good. What, and what, what's, your, what's your exercise? Is it cycling? Is it running? Is it walking? What, what do you do? Walking. Well, Lee and Dane have huskies, so they're doing lots of long walks because they need the exercise. Those, those dogs are energetic, so they're doing lots of walks. I quite like a run. Um, I'm actually, I actually live in Exeter, so I run along the quay um, and go for walks um, sort wow. of around here. Yeah, there's not, there are some nice little nooks that you can, you can walk around in Exeter. Yeah. you just got to find them. <laughs> Lovely. Well, look, that's great. So next Friday is D-Day for you guys. It's, it's when you start um, serving coffee and, and brownies again. So good luck with that, Debs. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, hopefully, um, you know, hopefully the rest of the business can open up as soon as we poss it, it possibly can. Um, thanks for your time. Um, stay there because I'm going to have a quick chat with you afterwards, but I'm just going to say goodbye to everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we've got lots of videos uh, lined up still. Um, another four to do today, which will all be posted on our Facebook page. Uh, and uh, we are planning to launch our magazines again. So Oki Links, um, sh uh, the next issue of Oki Links should be coming out uh, in, uh, on the 1st of July. Uh, and then uh, Tavy Moore and Plim Links will be coming out the 1st of August. Um, so happy days. We're, we're getting back at it. Everyone stay safe. Keep that uh, social distancing malarkey going. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks very much.